One of the key features that Assyrian provides is the full, complete lifecycle management of privileged user accounts. It's about the right access for the right user to the right device. Today we're going to look at provisioning devices in the Assyrian version 4 series. In this version, we've made things much easier. There are three ways that Assyrian can manage accounts on devices. Password known, password managed, and Assyrian managed. First, I'm going to show you the simplest way. Now, throughout this demonstration, there's going to be a security indicator up in this corner. What this is going to show is whether we're achieving good, better, or best practice. Now let's say we're deploying a Windows server and we've been given the build credentials from a project team. So, devices, add device, we choose our template, this is a Windows system. A template tells Assyrium how to interact with a particular device. We need to enter a host name and an IP address and then we click test connection. This is where we enter the username and password Assyrium is now going to check that these credentials work and gather some basic details about the device. Great, the credentials have worked and we're connected. Now we need to decide on how to deal with the control account. In this simple example, we've only got one account available. Therefore, we want Assyrium to just store these credentials and use them as the control account. There, we're connected and provisioned. Now we can put this device in a profile and give any number of users privileged access to the system. Of course they won't see the password and we can even record the sessions. So we go in and edit our profile, we add in our users, we add in the device and we select the account. So at this point we're just storing a set of known credentials. We don't know whether there's been any leakage from their intended circulation. You might remember our project manager's email asking us to change the password and to refresh it on a regular basis. So what we can do now is get Assyrium to manage this password and that completely automates our password lifecycle for this account. So let's start off by looking at the original build password using the Assyrium break glass feature. So now let's have Assyrium manage this password. We change the state of the account from password known to password managed. There. We can now see that Assyrium has changed the password to a long, strong, secure password. Our security level is now better. Only Assyrium knows the password, but of course we can still get to it using our break glass. Everyone in our admin teams who needs to access this server can now do so without knowing this new secure password. Assyrium keeps track of who accessed it and what they did. So now we've provisioned it, made it available to our admin teams and made the password lifecycle fully compliant. But with Assyrium, we can go one level higher. We can have Assyrium automatically provision personalised accounts for the admins on the device and set them up to an appropriate role. So here's how easy it is to make that change. We go into the profile we find the device and we can see that we're currently all sharing the account administrator. What we're going to do is change this to be a role. What that does is instructs Insirium to go and create personalised accounts for each user in the profile on that device. And it sets the account to have the appropriate permissions. Each user maps to their own personalised account on the device. So now we have the very best combination of security, accountability and compliance. With Assyrium, it's a job done tick.